Okay, and so let's have a look at expanding decimals. So first of all, let's put our thousandths, hundreds, tens, units, our decimal place. Then we have our tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Okay, so let's get a number. So we might have 342.67. Okay, so if we're going to expand that, first of all, let's have a look at our hundreds. We have 300 plus 4 tenths, which is 40, plus 2 units, plus 6 tenths, plus seven hundredths. Okay, now we've expanded it with the fractions. Now let's have a look at doing the same thing, this time using the decimals. Okay, so we have 300 plus four tenths, which is still 40, plus two units, plus here we've got no holes, and in our tenths column we have six. Plus, now we're looking at the hundreds. So here, we're going to just focus on the seven. So we've got no here, none there, and seven. So it becomes 0 0.07. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so first of all, we'll focus on our thousands. We've got 6,000 plus how many hundreds? 300 plus how many tens? 7 tens plus the units plus, now let's write it as a fraction first, 5 tenths plus 6 hundreds. Now we can also expand that using the decimals. So the first part here remains the same, but now we're going to plus and we're going to focus on our tenths. So we put 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which is equal to 5 tenths plus. Now we're going to focus on our hundredths here. So we've got 0 0.06. 0 0.06. Look at another example. This time we're going to expand it just using the decimals without the fractions. Okay, so let's have a look. First of all, we've got 3,000 plus 400 plus six tens, plus seven units, plus eight tenths, so we've got no holes, point eight, plus nine hundredths, no holes, no tenths, nine hundredths, plus a thousandths, okay, so you've got no holes, no tens, oops, no hundred, but four thousandths.